Hi, this is Andrew Aversa with Impact Soundworks. Today, I'll be demonstrating Acoustic Revolutions Strum Designer, formerly known as Acoustic Revolutions 3. With this library, you can create the perfect acoustic guitar track in any key using a huge variety of rhythm patterns and with virtually any chord progression. It's like having a session guitarist right in your DAW. Let's see how it works. This is an acoustic video game arrangement I produced with my wife Jillian Aversa that has live voice and percussion, and I'm using Strum Designer for the guitar track. You'll see that this MIDI track here controls the instrument completely. The topmost notes control the pattern selection, and the lower notes control the chord. Since I have the UI in intelligent mode, simply playing notes in this range will set a chord based on simple chord detection. Looking at the upper range, each note corresponds to a different rhythmic pattern. On the main UI, you can see what patterns are loaded by whether they are highlighted or not. Unused patterns are unloaded from memory, so it's not a bad idea to start with everything loaded and then unload stuff you don't need. By the way, every pattern was recorded in two different tempos, 80 and 120 BPM. Depending on the tempo set in your DAW, the system will pick the closest recorded tempo and stretch it as needed. In this grid sync mode, chords will change on grid subdivisions. But to keep playback smooth, as it says on the UI, we recommend starting chord playback slightly before each grid line. You can do this easily, as I have, by shifting the entire MIDI pattern over a little bit. But you can also change the sync to key. As soon as you change notes, regardless of the playback position, the chord will change immediately. And that's actually everything you need to know in a nutshell about using Strum Designer. You play or write out your chords, then select rhythms, string them all together, and you have a complete track. There are, however, a few other useful features, so keep watching. In this pink key range, you can end a phrase in various different ways. You can mouse over each key to see the articulation. I'll demonstrate some of them now. In this drop-down menu in the upper right, this defines the logic if you don't use these release noise keys. You can stop within an eighth note or a quarter note. What that means is that the pattern will continue playing for an eighth note or a quarter, etc. You can stop instantly, or it can just keep playing indefinitely until you press a release key or stop DAW playback. Now, if you want to precisely define chords without writing them out in chord detection, you can try manual mode. This splits the chord selection area into two parts the blue range, which defines the root key, and the red range, which determines the chord type. 
As I play, watch the selections on the UI to see how the chord changes. Another handy feature is compact rhythm mode. This is useful if you only have a handful of rhythm patterns you want to use, and you want to keep them all next to each other rather than jumping around the entire rhythm pattern selection range. So first you pick a key you want to assign the pattern to, then select the pattern from a list. That's it. Normally in full mode, each pattern key is pre-linked to a specific pattern. There are, of course, other useful features here, like double tracking with control, fret noises, sync adjustment, and an effects rack, but these are relatively straightforward, and you can read more about them in the manual. I mainly wanted to show the most practical uses of the instrument, how to jump in and get started. Oh, and for those who like to edit and mangle samples further, Strum Designer also comes with wave versions of every single loop. You can pick up Strum Designer now from Impact Soundworks with free contact player compatibility. If you already own Acoustic Revolutions 3, check your account for a greatly discounted upgrade price. We can't wait to hear what kind of music you make with this fantastic collection. This has been Andrew Versa, and I'll see you next time.